All right. Hi, everyone. Good to see you all here. Welcome, everyone. Time for some Train Sim World. Just made a quick uh, change to settings. YouTube was uh, not liking me streaming in ultra low, even though everything looked okay. So we'll just back it down just a little bit. Should be all right now. Welcome back, everyone. Good to see you here. So we're going to get started now with uh, CSX Heavy Hall for Train Sim World. We're going to get to our mission here right away. Welcome, everyone. Good to have you all with us. Uh, Fire Nation, thank you very much for becoming a new sponsor or a new uh, member last night. Rage and Rudy with the 20 saying choo-choo. And Vincent Walters with the 10. Thank you very much, everybody, for topping off the fuel tank. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go fu fully fueled now and uh, see what we can do. Good to see you all here. Welcome, everyone. Good to have you all with us. Hi. Hello. All right. So uh, I think we... Um, I think we just need to do a hole like we did the last time without having to do any sort of coal switch, so we'll see what happens. Oh, there we go. That's a that's our big O train right there. How many cars? Oh, just two. Darn. Well, we could be adding on. Who knows? Wow, that's a beautiful train. Oh, it's not doing any audio? Uh... Something, some things must be attached to the rear. Climb aboard and move to the classification. Wait, which way are we going? Huh. Alright, so I guess we're going to connect to this train here in a second. Ooh, this is a big boy. I'm trying to see what we're, we might be connecting to very soon. I feel way taller. Look at, look at how tall I am. Like, I can barely... If I had a hard hat on, I would not be able to fit in here without tipping my head down. I must be, like, six foot five or something. All right, let's uh, sit down. All right, set up train. Set reverser and release brake sound horn. Gotcha. Vincent, thanks again for your support. Okay. Uh, set the reverser, what, to forward? Wait, which way are we going? Wait, what is this book? Is that where we started? I have no idea what any of that means. Okay, let's go. Oh, this brake. Gotcha. They didn't mention independent brake. I think we're going in reverse since they said set reverser. Ooh, this is already going immediately fast. Switch to the correct track. Okay, we gotta go the other way. Well, if they would tell me all the information a little bit ahead of time, that'd be helpful, wouldn't it? Actually, we do have to switch a track, so... Eh, let's see. Oh, we gotta get on that track, huh? Sometimes they don't tell you when you have to switch tracks, and then sometimes they do. Sometimes it's part of the mission objective, and sometimes it's not. Ah, that's what we're connecting to. There we go. Now we got it. Okay. Okay, mm so we just roll right ahead, and we should be good. You know what they should have had us do is switch the track first. They should have they should have told us to switch the track and then go up into the train. That would have been way easier. That would have made more sense, you know, like uh, instead of getting in the train, just walk over to this uh, to the switch, switch the switch, and then go into the train. Instead of go into train, <laughs> disengage the brake, and then switch. And it's like what? We would have to re-engage the brake in order to do that. All right, well, in any sense, we're about to ram into a bunch of, uh, I guess this is, is this mixed cars? We're about to see, I, I suppose, in a second. Let's throw that dynamic brake up. Let's lower on down, baby. There we go. Okay, let's see. So in front of us is a bunch of cars. I don't know what exactly. What do we got here? Oh, it looks like container cars. Maybe some sort of mix or something like that. Here comes the train. So it looks like a bunch of uh, CSX container cars. All the way down the line. Wow, that is a lot of cars. 52 vehicles in this one.
There we go. Okay. Subscriber shout out. Uh, Kirk Eddies, thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you everyone for uh, clicking and tapping that subscribe button and for being here. You're all wonderful. So thank you very much for your support. Alright, let's back her up. And ka chunk. Beautiful. Alright, uh, prepare for multiple working. Set the reverser to neutral. Turn off any lights. Apply auto brake to full service. Okay. Auto brake neutral. Uh, auto brake full. Okay. Sit in the engineer's seat on the lead locomotive. Oh, so now we gotta go all the way down there? Oh, great. Now we gotta walk? Actually, wait a minute. Okay. Do, 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 do. You love the videos? Well, thank you very much for your support. Alright, now we're on a walk. How are things going up in the uh, Grilled Cheese Gang uh, community today? How's everybody doing up there in their containers? These are all houses for our hobo army. Of course, anybody who clicks or taps that subscribe button or becomes a sponsor. You can be a general in the uh, hobo army by uh, <laughs> becoming a member here today. Click or tap the join button or anybody who wants to just be a member. Uh, you can go ahead and subscribe. It's our inside joke, I guess, because everybody says they're riding on the rails eating grilled cheese in the back. It's funny. It's funny. It's good. Okay, let's see. we got about 0.7 miles to walk to. Actually, I think... Can you change the train by... Is there a way to teleport? Also, I shouldn't probably be walking here. I feel like it's easier to walk. Oh, wow. Oh, you can walk up here? Well, that's cool. It's actually a pretty narrow Dude, place to walk. Shout out. Thank you for subscribing, everybody. All right, well, unfortunately, we do have to walk on this one, so it won't be too too far of a run. I don't think there's any faster way to do it, to be honest, but that's all right. We get to see the whole length of this train. This is like the only time in the game where I've actually had to run. Look at that. Wow. Oh, there we go. 900 yards. Perfect. We'll be ready to roll out very soon. This is part of the job as an engineer to walk the whole line. This is 52 vehicles. So, you know, I guess you'll have to do the math. Actually, wasn't it um, 0 0.08 miles? Or wait, what was the... Well, it's like almost a mile long. <laughs> using the coal? Yes, Vincent. I'm using all that grilled cheese power. Using all that uh, toasty bread and grilled cheese to get rolling. We're not even going to roll out before noon. Look, imagine if you had to walk this. Oh, man. You know, I wonder, do uh, engineers, do, they must have pickup trucks and stuff to drop people off and whatnot, right? Because this is just a long, this is just a long walk. I'm sure they have go-karts and, well, not go-karts, but, uh, you know, the little, uh, you know, golf carts and stuff to drive people around. Though I wouldn't even trust those getting across these tracks. They probably have quads, you know, like those uh, four buys. Or some of them are like six wheel. That kind of thing. New subscriber shout out. Yeah, we're working them quad strike. Jeez, this is running simulator now. Oh, 0.8 kilometer? No, it's, it was, it's in yards. Run Forest runs as Rudy. Yeah, we're doing running simulator. Wow, this is going to be great in the VOD. Someone's going to have to be like, this is nothing but running. They check the train when they walk? All right, let's see. I'm just checking to see if anything's on fire. I don't see any fire. Yeah, this is the new Fortnite map. Uh, this is called... Uh, turning turntables and uh, we just dropped in and uh, right now I'm dressed as a CSX engineer it was uh, 13 million V buck not bucks but just V buck I get I got them off this website for free oh no <laughs> Bob how'd you get here I had to like wind sprint like I was Usain Bolt and you're just up here chilling did someone drop you off time with him. We're operating this westbound stack train today. 
No doubt it's packed with all the latest gadgets and gizmos. That extra traction you attached? Well, we've been asked to take it up to the summit for work in the area. There's a shortage of engineers today, or someone would have run them up independently. We're only authorized to go that far? Okay, let's go. I hope we're, we're going forward, right? We better be. Alright, let's go. This is Q015, requesting a track warrant from Cumberland Terminal to Sandpatch. Over. Shrike keeps you laughing? Yes, he's a funny kid. Q015, subject to signal indication. Proceed from Cumberland Terminal to Sandpatch. Over. Q015, subject to signal indications. Proceeding from Cumberland Terminal to Sandpatch. Out. Okay, grilled cheese gang, here we go. Train's leaving the station. And there she goes. I think we're maxed out at 15 until we get out of the, the yard. But that's a big O yard. That is a big O crazy yard. Let's go ahead and throw off throttle. We have a slight incline, so we should be all right until we get out. Oh, someone's coming back. Wait a minute. That's not right. There we go. Good thing we checked that. Are we recording? Yes, this will be on a VOD afterwards. So technically, yeah. Wow, that is a long train, man. Oh, there she goes. Ready to depart. Release the brakes. Wait a minute. It's not even... I did release the brakes. Pfft. Silly game. It didn't even track that I released the, the brake. We wouldn't be moving if I didn't. Now we're going too fast. There we go. Alright, stop at Sand Patch. Okay, so this is a long, long haul. We did release the brake before. That's why I was That's why I was all, way, all the way to the left, but the game didn't register that I put the, uh, the bail off, I guess. It actually does that sometimes. I don't know why it does that, but whatever. Whatever. There we go. What game is this? This is uh, the new flight sim mod for Fortnite. As you can see, I, th I think, if you look closely out there, you might... Yep, there's Ninja and Drake. You might not... Uh, if you look closely, you might be able to see them. What's up, Zero Hero? Wow. It's been a while since you've been around these parts. Good to see you here. All right, we're almost clear to go up to 25 miles an hour, but it's going to be a while until we even see that day. But at least it is daytime. Last time we did a haul, it was like nighttime. We, it was so dark. You guys remember yesterday, when we, when we pulled into this yard yesterday for our um, Cumberland Charge mission, it was like pitch black to where I didn't even know you could... You actually can turn on a flashlight. Uh, you can press L, which turns on cab lights, but it also gives you a flashlight, too, which is nice. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Raptor, your mulch is expensive. Am I selling mulch? Or do you mean merchandise? Because I don't set those prices. Wow, could you could you guys imagine if I started selling, like... You know, I sell t-shirts and coffee mugs and stuff like every other YouTuber, and I appreciate everyone who's picked up some of that stuff. But imagine if I started, like, really going hardcore where it's like, guys, you know, thanks for watching today's video. And you know what else is great? is Rat Pack Premium Mulch. Here at Rat Pack, we start with only the... Yeah, that's how you know it's a lie, by the way, when they start... We, we st Here at Arby's, we start with 125% real, authentic. And it's like, no, you don't. No, you don't. Like how McDonald's recently said. Here we are. Uh, hold on, let me just check. All right, 14 minutes and 54 seconds into the stream. Food mentioned. Um, 
Actually, no, I, I mentioned grilled cheese earlier, but uh, McDonald's suddenly said, hey, we're starting with all beef now. And it's like, what, what were you serving people before? Ground newspaper painted brown? What was that? But yeah, if you guys want my premium malt, it will be available for $650,000. Uh, you know, got to pay those bills, guys. <laughs> got to pay off those trains somehow. Yeah, that would be crazy merch, wouldn't it? Like Rat Pack brand light bulbs. It's like, guys, nothing is brighter than the future of our channel other than our premium light bulbs. Here's Shrike to tell you more. Huh? <laughs> it's like, this is, it's just him ambushed on the street while he's walking with friends. Shrike, tell us about the light bulbs. What? I don't even know. I don't even make, I don't, what? Oh, yeah, how many sponsors do we need now? So I think we're about four sponsors away. No, uh, wait, we were at 92. Now we have 93. Or maybe actually 94. It's either 93 or 94. So we need about like five or six. Six or seven. I don't know, actually. Eh, like five more. If five people click or tap that join button, boom. We've unlocked a new emote, and I'll let you guys choose what it is. Maybe we'll get Shrike's face in here. You guys want to have Shrike as an emote? We'll have Shrike make a funny face, and we'll get him in here as an official emote. Or Daniel. Or Pinto. We'll get one of your guys' favorite uh, Rat Pack members in here. All right, so right now we're uh, not permitted to go above 25 or anything. This is, this is like, my biggest problem with this game is when there's large open patches of land like this, like there are in real life, it is um, it's kind, of, it's kind of bland. You can see where the textures easily repeat, and that's not that doesn't kill it for me, but, I mean, it, it is a little lazy. Though I do like all the people parked out in front of the, uh, <laughs> what is that, a movie, a video store? That's certainly not a Walmart or something. What is that? Oh, it's like a factory of some sort? Oh, yeah, it's got... Well, it could be a Walmart. Look at all the delivery bays. What do you think that is? That must be where they make that uh, high-tech uh, McDonald's beef. Wow, look at all the... De How are you going to get a delivery in here? The fence is like an inch and a half away from the door. Wow, that's going to be one heck of an ATS delivery. Wow, how'd that guy get in there? Will Briggs, thank you very much for clicking and tapping that sponsor button, my man. A new member. Everybody, welcome Briggs. Will Briggs. Welcome, Will. Distribution center? You think it's a Walmart uh, distribution? Actually, that's where my merchandise is made. That's why, that's why nothing's really going on there. Okay, we're almost clear to go up to 25. Somebody was asking max speed of the train. I think it's 75, I think. But uh, there's, there's line... Uh, high speeds, which I think on this one is 60. Or 65. I think the max speed on this line is 65. We'll see. Anyway, welcome, Will. Good to have you here. New member. Welcome. Yay. It's a wrap back store? Or a wrap pack store? Alright, let's increase to one. 65 is for passenger? Oh. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so we're just coasting through town. Once we hit the open line, then we can uh, really go. You know, it's interesting. This this one was called fueled and loaded or something. I thought we were going to do some fueling, which takes like five seconds, but it's still fun. Only four more members. Yeah, if anybody else clicks or taps that button, we get a new emote. I, for one, am voting for a, a strike emote, but uh, that's just me. This must be a hard part of town to live. There's trains coming through here all the time. Yeah, uh, City Skyline stream today. I don't know when, so just make sure you uh, change the notification bell to uh, all all notifications. I think that's our biggest problem with the channel too. Is that uh, you know ever since they implemented that channels that are recently growing, everybody's been clicking the bell. But channels that people have been subscribed to before, everybody has to manually do that. Uh, what game? Th this is Fortnite. This is the newest update. Uh, we're in... Uh, uh, we're in uh, Oblon Overpasses right now, and we're looking for a uh, turquoise uh, gun. And... Uh, you 
yeah. You want to be a YouTuber? Dude, you can. Anybody, anybody can be a YouTuber. You, you can upload one video a year if you want to. Make it a good video, get 50 million views, you're a YouTuber. But sometimes YouTube isn't just about views and subscribers. Sometimes it's about sending a message to people. And my message is this. Did you guys know that we have our own premium mulch brand available now? No, I'm just kidding. But if you want to see what videos I'm coming up with uh, recently, a lot of people are always asking, you should play. When are you playing? Look at that, folks. My schedule is completely full of games that I'm uh, working on, on playing. So um, I appreciate your patience as I know there's only certain things that people want to watch. And then there's other people who watch every single thing I do. So I don't, I don't care who you are. I appreciate you watching. So um, that's what's coming up next on the channel if you want to see. Additionally, uh, I do have an Instagram where you can see what I'm doing behind the scenes. And uh, so you can go ahead and click or tap on that Instagram and see what we're up to. And then, of course, if you'd like to win free stuff uh, on a time-to-time -time basis, I do get uh, game codes from developers, and they ask that I uh, give them away to you, the fans. So I do that via Twitter. So there's the link to that. Can I do you a favor? Um, I mean, you can just ask a question. Yeah, actually, speaking of giveaways, did you guys know that Raging Rudy TV, there's a guy in chat, if you look at his name, well, first of all, let me ask this. Well, first of all, let me say thank you to Vincent Walters for topping off the fuel tank yet again and again and again. Thank you for your support, everybody. Very nice of you all. Um, first of all, does anybody here know a game called Farming Simulator? You might not have heard of it, but you actually get to simulate farming. Have you guys heard of this game? I don't know, I might, I'm, I might be throwing it out there, but... Anybody's ever heard of that? Oh, you guys, you, you have heard of Farming Simulator? Well, this guy in chat named Ragin' Rudy, apparently this guy is going to be giving away a bunch of free copies of Farming Sim 19. Apparently he's, like, pre-purchased a bunch of copies. And I think if you follow him on Twitter or check out his YouTube channel, there might be a way for you to win a free copy of Farming Sim 19 when it comes out. There we go. I think, I think that's the proper way. So yeah, go ahead and follow Rudy as well. He's a very supportive member of our community too. And what a nice guy. I mean, man, no one no one gives away like him. He's actually going to have to start claiming it on his taxes. That's how much this guy has given away. New subscriber shout out. Uh, Premix Genie. Thank you very much for subscribing. Oh, that's an interesting name. Who's this person called Raging Rudy? I, I, I don't know. Person? You mean a king among men? <laughs> He's a good guy. Yeah, Kenneth, I will uh, definitely check out Brick Rick sometime. Actually, we have. It's on the channel. If you guys want to check the channel. In fact, I would recommend, before you even ask me to play something, I probably have. It's probably on the channel. But as you see, I play like two games a day plus live streams on the weekend. And it's still not enough time to review every game. Like, it's still, I need multiple channels, but I, I don't even have enough time to do that. Sometimes, like, when I eat dinner, I'm still, like, YouTubing while doing it, like, you know, one hand is on the fork, and the other hand is on the keyboard trying to type the words Big O Crazy Million Dollar, you know? I'm your favorite YouTuber in YouTube? Well, thank you, Shane. I appreciate that. Wow, when are we going to get going up to, like, 25 miles an hour? We passed that marker a, a million years ago. We're only going slow because we're restricted by the speed limit. Otherwise, I'd open her up. Oh, you're going to play Train Sim World and watch this at the same time? That is train overload, my man. All right, now we're permitted to go up to 20. Watch out, everybody. Hold on back there, guys. We're, we're entering light speed. The warp core is firing up of the Enterprise right now. Why is this called the last haul? Because this is the last haul we have to do on the CSX Heavy Haul DLC. And uh, there, there's one other haul that we can do on a different map, but, like, this is the last mission there is aside from doing another one where we, like, work a turntable, and I don't... I'm no DJ, so I can't do that, chat. okay? Okay, guys. Okay, I'm a train conductor, okay? Look at this beautiful hill here. Jeez, they need to get other places. I want to see, like, Utah, Nevada. Well, places with mountains. I would love to do, like, any just beautiful rural route. I want to do, like, a beautiful Canadian passenger service. Oh, that would be awesome. Could you imagine that? Doing something up in, like, the Canadian Rockies? Beautiful. Do I read all the comments in the chat? No. There's no possible way I can read everybody. But I try to get to everyone. Besides, it's, it's kind of like... Um, you know, me being a member of chat. Like, you guys don't read everybody's messages. I don't read everybody's messages. We can't. But we try to interact, you know. It works. 
Oh, you, we oh we had to get Bob a beer. Well, Vincent, now we're on the job, sir. So we'll we'll have to get one when we get there, I suppose. But yes, I'll buy Bob a beer. Yes, we do have a Discord. Check down below in the description. There's a Team Speak down there too. And in fact, yesterday after I streamed um, City Skylines, a ton of you tuned in to say hi after the stream. So join our Discord. Come say hi to me. Ask me a question. Do whatever you'd like after this stream, and then I'm gonna ask answer some more questions later today too. So if you want to ask. Um, any questions, drop a super chat or just hang out on the Discord and ask someone. Um, a lot of people have answers. They know my schedule. They know what's up. And then uh, you can also just say hi to me on the Discord. Write me a message. Say, hey, Raptor, you're not a great YouTuber. There's so many other better talented YouTubers out there. I hate you, which is probably true. But <laughs> that's always funny. It's funny how some people are, like, really vocal about not liking something. Do we get an emote for the grilled cheese gang? Ooh, we could do that. Absolutely. We're going to need to get some more people clicking or tapping that sponsor button, though. Which would be cool. Uh, what's a Discord? That's a good question. Uh, Discord and TeamSpeak are both voice servers. They're almost like a big phone call that you can get into with people. Everybody uh, jumps onto a server, they enter a room, and then everyone gets to talk to each other. Or write messages or send pictures or whatever. Uh, ours is mostly for people to just kind of like say hello, ask some questions, uh, get a game of fill-in-the-blank going. Some people uh, share pictures of, uh, you know, like funny farming pictures or something like that, and then they move on to the next thing. New subscriber shout -out. All right, everyone, welcome aboard. Thanks for clicking and tapping that subscribe button. We're almost to uh, the 35 marker, so we're almost ready to pick it up. This is a very interesting route. I don't know why we're only permitted to do, like, 30. I guess it's some pretty tight turns for a train. Also, I think the microwave broke trying to make popcorn but this thing thing won't work nah whatever alright we can do 40 now your profile name on train sim world is Jeff <laughs> that's cool it's a, it's a shame that you can't uh, do this multiplayer yet it'd be mostly inter interesting and entertaining for the one person driving the train but there's no reason why you can't have a second person with you. I'm doing great. Co-driver never looks at us. He is right now. He almost kind of looks like Squirrel, if you think about it. He look like Squirrel a little bit. Squirrel always wears a hat, so I mean, you know, there's that. This is pretty much how we're looking, though. Like, we've probably got blue jeans, some boots on, uh, some sort of a shirt, rolled up sleeves, gloves, lanyard, radio, reflector vest, and the hard hat. Which, by the way, the, I mean, you're supposed to take that off when you're in here, apparently. A little like squirrel? Maybe, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. No, oh, they rarely send passenger trains to the Rockies. Well, they can make it a mission that says, hey, once a year, the Canadian government's, you know, promoting rail travel by sending trains to beautiful Canadian destinations. And so, you know, you're you're in charge of driving this one train. But, oh, there's a little bit of a snowstorm. Hopefully, the, you know, whatever, that kind of thing. Can I go faster? Yeah, absolutely. But as you can see, we're, we're at a speed limit here. The speed limit's 25, we're doing 22. It's not easy. This isn't a Ferrari. This is a big old crazy billion dollar train. To be honest, there's probably about a couple million dollars worth of equipment on this rail line right now. I mean, if you think about all the trains and all the cars and then all the stuff inside of that. And he did mention that we're hauling like iPads, iPhones, Androids, PS4s, PC parts, TVs. Who knows? Uh, let's. Oop, now we're finally permitted to go up to 35. Beautiful. Mm, listen to that power kicking up. Giving her about 500 amps here. Ah, uh, 437. What's up, Michael Williams? You don't have Bob on your train? It'd be cool if you could pick your co-pilot. We seem to keep having uh, Bob all the time. 
Can you send me fan mail? Yeah, starting Monday, I think I'm going to get a uh, P.O. box and let everybody send me stuff. People keep saying they want to send me, like, MREs from the military or candy from the nation that they live in. I took a poll before, it, and I asked people, like, hey, would you send me stuff? And everyone was like, no, absolutely not. And I'm like, what? Okay. So I didn't do it for a while, but now people are asking, so I'm like, okay, maybe we can make a cool video out of it. Uh, you want a shout-out? Okay, let me give you a shout-out. Hold on a second, let me open up the window. All right, Bob, cover your ears. Oh, there's a deer. Get him. All right, I think we got him. All right, we'll pick that up on the way back. That's going to be lunch. Okay. go a little faster. Actually, we're hitting up to the 50. Let's go two and then we'll open it up to five. Shout out? Sure. Well, I gotta open up the window. Now, if anybody's looking for a shout out, all you gotta do is click or tap that subscribe button and uh, sponsor or uh, drop a super chat. A lot of people uh, wanting shots today. I don't think some of you are old enough to actually take some shots. Did I shoot a deer? That's that's the way of life. Haven't you ever seen Lion King? so you can hear the song. Yeah, I like this music. Thank you very much, Vincent. Yeah, listen to that beautiful song. We got some nice donation music whenever whenever someone plays. It's always like a little party. It always feels like someone's coming out on Jimmy Kimmel or something like that. Ladies and gentlemen, give, give it up for Janine Garofalo. She's coming out right now. And then, <laughs> you know, of course, the celebrity comes out on stage. You know, they hug or shake hands, and then they sit down. So tell us about your new movie. Oh, it's a movie? Oh, that's great. You know. <laughs> One thing about this game, though, is the, the interior gets really loud when you... There seems to be a glitch where it doesn't go back to this inside cabin noise. Uh, can you hit a car? No, because I don't even think cars even cross the railway uh, lines. In fact, you rarely even see cars in this game. I really wish there'd be more uh, presence of vehicles inside of towns. That'd be kind of nice. Thank you very much, Henry. Appreciate it. Hi, chat. How are we doing? Uh, can you hit other trains? Mm. I have a feeling that they probably don't have any sort of damage or collision things. They would just, uh, they probably just go through each other and say mission failed. Thank you, Daniel, for subscribing. Shout out? Oh my goodness, you guys. I can't give any more shout outs. We're going to get arrested. Okay, let's see. Where are we going anyway? Oh, we got to go up and to the left. Okay. I think we're going to go up there, stop, and then per ask for clearance to enter the next uh, Sam Pat Summit. We've been through there before. I think that's where the tunnel is. Bob, how you doing? Oh, we got a crossing. There we go. All right. Wow, we're really moving now. Almost hitting that uh, 50. Open the window and stick the head out? Okay.
Are we delivering merch to the Rat Pack members? Yeah. A lot of you guys do buy that merch on the Teespring store, so there is isn't there is a need for shipping. I guess we have a logistics department. Can you talk to Bob? I mean, like, it'll be a one-way conversation, but yeah. All right, so now we're going to go about uh, 13 miles. So if you guys remember this route, it's essentially external cameras. What? Rear boom camera. What the... Oh, wow, I didn't even know that was a thing. That's weird. The game has to load to switch cameras? That's strange. Um, so, yeah, if you notice, we're going to basically go north forever for a little bit longer, and then as we turn left, we're going to have to slow way down. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a while uh, to get there, but not, not really. Once we get up to our uh, destination where we turn left onto the tracks, then we, it's, we're pretty much there. Yeah, I, I like this game. I mean, part of part of YouTube should be me playing what I want to play, too, because otherwise, to be honest, I'd be playing these games all the time alone anyway, so I may as well include you guys, because I, I want to play this, you know. It's a good game. I feel like we're on a race car track now. Like, doing 47 on this in this train feels like a million miles an hour. It feels faster than the British high-speed rail or... Uh, what not? Uh, can you add a backpack to the to the uh, s merchandise needed for school? That'd be cool. I don't think you can do that, but you can buy it. There are stickers in there for like two or three dollars, and you can put it on anything you want. I need to get one of those too. I'd like to actually put a sticker on my. Uh, what I'd like to do is buy a little mirror, and then put the sticker in the middle of the mirror, and then just kind of hang it up somewhere, you know, on the wall. That would kind of look cool. Wow, another crossing. This one doesn't have arms, though, does it? No, so I don't. I don't know if I have to. I don't know. What state do I live in, America? Uh, state of decay available now on Steam. Uh, state of Minnesota. That'd be mine. I wonder if they'll get uh, Union Pacific DLC or anything like that. Oh, cool! Another train's coming. Ooh, he's hauling coal. Look at that. Let's take a look. Rat pack number nine. What? I love this route, though. It's re it's very beautiful. The rolling hills and everything like that are just gorgeous. Uh, there we go to fix the sound. There's a weird sound glitch with that. I don't know if that's just me. I might have to report that and say, hey, every time I switch to the internal camera, the sounds keep going for the outdoor sound, but the it should be the interior interior sounds. I don't know. Uh, this train is 52 cars long or more. I think it's 52 plus a couple extra lo locomotives on the back. It's a long train. But I think the longest we've hauled is a 72. 72 coal. So it's almost a mile. So some of the trains you can haul are uh, like a mile long. Who else lives in Canada? Probably other Canadians. I mean, I'm just guessing. <laughs> Got him. Well, I mean, what I said wasn't wrong, though. playing train sim world and you can't go up a steep hill i don't really think there's uh, the most incline i've seen on here is like one and a half two percent maybe like there's some areas in new york that uh on the uh the nec the northeast corridor that has uh some pretty big uh pretty big um inclines but it's not impossible to get up since you're already moving like at 60 did I watch the movie Triple Seven? No. I haven't had enough time to watch them. i got to get a list of movies that I should force myself to watch. Okay, so we're going to be continuously moving this direction at about 40 plus miles an hour uh, until we reach our uh, turning point, which is pretty soon, and then we'll 
be closer to our destination. This one says it's going to take 120 minutes to complete, so we will be there shortly. Triple Seven is bad. Oh, really? Man, it's okay. Some movies, if they're bad, I don't, I don't mind because I don't go in with high expectations. I heard the new. Uh, has anybody seen the new Mission Impossible? I heard that was pretty good. Wow, this is almost like watching a uh, YouTube live stream of like. Uh, there's uh, live streams out there of real life train lines, and so, and I don't even. They're not even actually live. What they are are like pre-recorded videos of like a GoPro attached to the front of a train for like two hours or three hours. And then it just loops like a bunch of different footage of different train lines. Uh, does this have tr uh, steam trains apart from diesel? So it has diesel, electric, and electric trains, but no steam at the moment. But I wouldn't be surprised if they happen to put those in there. I really want to drive that Somerset train, though. It's so... It's such a huge train with, like, such a small cabin. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to derail the train. All that would have... I think all that... I don't think there'd be any crash or anything. I think it would just say, you have derailed, and then just fade to black and restart. No big boys? No. But, I mean, again, I don't... I, w I wouldn't be surprised if they do a classics DLC and put it down in Texas or something. This game does get quite a bit of support, and they're releasing some nice DLC. Unfortunately, there's no real incentive in this game like there is an ATS to kind of continue to do... Well, like, once you do these, you've done it, and you could do it again. But it's not like with uh, ATS or Euro Truck where you're building a company and you're getting money uh, to build and buy your own stuff. This is, you're, you're working for a company here. I mean, <laughs> there's no private rail lines. They're way too expensive. But there is private trucks, you know because those can actually those actually work. You subscribed? Yeah, anybody who clicks or taps that subscribe button, your name should pop up here. New subscriber shout out. There you go, see? But remember, if your subscriptions are set to private, it won't work. It'll just say anonymous, unless you like tell YouTube that you want people to know who you're subscribed to. Pretty much get to go at this speed the whole time. There's no real major roads here or anything. All these roads look way too small. If you wanted to see high speed, uh, you should have tuned in for the high speed train uh, stream that we did a while ago for British trains. We were going 125 miles an hour in those passenger trains. So you can go back and watch that one if you want to see high speed. But here, I'm just going to keep her under 50. There's no reason for us to go any faster than that. Have I got cruise control? Technically, kind of yes. We uh, are at throttle 5, giving it 134.5 amps, and just on a pretty uh, pretty flat. It's got a 0.7%, 0.8% grade. But with this, we can kind of coast along without any problem. The only thing really stopping us is wind resistance. These trains take forever to stop. Yeah, I think the train does have power steering. Power steering, airbags, uh, rack and pinion. You know how it is on a train, right? Uh oh, I've noticed we're going to have to slow down to about 25 miles an hour. This is going to get dangerous. All right, let's kill throttle. Oh, now we're going to enter the mountain. Oh, this is going to get interesting. Yeah, I think it has an 18-speed transmission, high-low. Um, I think we're in a Kenworth right now. 
Awfully strange looking Kenworth. Or maybe it's a Peterbilt, I don't know. You know, these newfangled trucks, they never look the same as the old ones. Standard or automatic? I think this is a... a Tiptronic. Window wipers work? They sure do. Uh, right behind here is the control. And uh, you can turn them on. There's the back door wiper going. New subscriber shout out. Oog Gamer, thank you very much for subscribing. Where's the steering wheel? Probably in the back somewhere. I think it's in the other locomotive. This thing runs off hopes and dreams. Some people like to call that diesel. I call that hopes and dreams. Well, it's actually a pretty good grade here. Bum, 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 bum. I wonder if in this train, if you switch it to kilometers per hour, if the in... Obviously, the, uh, the little HUD to the right will probably change to kilometers, but I wonder if they'll adjust the uh, controls to be miles per hour or kilometers. Yeah, we're instructed to go only 25 here. So I'm going to bring her up to max speed of 25, and then that's all we can do. Because now we're executing that left turn. Actually, we just completed it. So right about here. And we just need to go to here and then bring it to a stop, I think. And then I think we're probably going to request access to go... Or somebody... I don't know what, I don't know what the plan is. I don't know. Let's see, we're giving her 400 amps, that's a little much. Oop, not two, or two, yeah. There we go, baby. Hey, we're gonna go through a tunnel soon. Yes, we're driving a locomotive, that's right. It doesn't adjust the speedometer in the train? Yeah, I thought so. So it just means that if you're playing in a European train, like a German train, you're gonna have to learn kilometers, and vice versa if you're, uh, if you're on an American train, or actually British, too. They use miles per hour. I didn't know if trains, like, used knots or whatnot, but, uh... Because planes and, and ships use knots sometimes. I always do like that. When you're, If you've ever been on a flight, and you get to look at the map, and you get to see where your plane is, it's always nice to, like, uh... It's always nice to look at the uh, little in-flight in map and just kind of see the plane go along. And they always give you so much information, like, uh, oh, it's, oh, we're at X amount of feet, and we're traveling at X amount of miles per hour, and the, you know, the wind is at, we got a tailwind at 14 knots or something, and it's like, wow. New subscriber shout out. Thank you, Anonymous, for subscribing. So we're going to head up into a train tunnel very soon. Uh, the tail cameras are cool, too, if the airplane has it. Oh, really? Do they have that? Is that a thing? Where they have cameras outside the plane? I've never seen that before. Oops. Uh, yeah, probably not gonna do that, uh, case... Case Septic Gaming. Probably not gonna... Probably not gonna do that, dude. Anyway, I do want, uh, Chad, if we could go ahead and have a bunch of uh, Circle 7s and uh, rips for uh, Mr. Benjamin Fair, who unfortunately three weeks ago uh, suffered a uh, very unfortunate incident of starting his senior year of high school in the state of Indiana. Unfortunately, starting like three weeks earlier than most school districts across the United States. Let's just kind of have a moment of silence, Circle 7. Let's go ahead and just uh, let him know that we're with him right now. We care. <laughs> we're thinking about you, Pom. We love you, kid. Zero Hero. Sir, welcome aboard. I don't think you're a new member. Haven't you been a... Well, 
I think you've been a member before, but it says, it, I wish it would tell you whether or not somebody renewed their membership or if it was truly a new member. I know you've been one before, but both welcome and thank you for your continued support. I even pop a pom. <laughs> okay, Septic Gaming, there you go. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate that. Ah, Palm will make it. It's fine. There's a lot to do now. He's got to do his senior prom. I think he's working on multiple... Uh, that's one thing I don't miss, is being uh, so panicked with, like, multiple senior projects. Two things. Uh, one, they weren't as hard as everybody made them seem. And two, there were just too many of them, and they were all lame. Uh, that's all. Uh, Zero here, you say you're new, but there is the multiple month badge next to your name. So I guess YouTube right thinks you've been here for several months. If you hover over that purple uh, badge, I think it'll say... Was that six months or something? Carter Adams, thank you very much for subscribing. All right. So we're going to continue on for a little while longer. It's not too long till our destination. New subscriber shout out. Alan Roberts, thank you for being here. Six months. Okay, well, there you go. You know, actually, what I think it is, is it's weird. I think if somebody, I think I've seen this where if somebody is a member and then they don't renew their sponsorship and then they wait like a couple of months and then renew it again, it, it tell it like shows X amount of months of continued support, even though with that they stopped for a little period of time. It's kind of weird, which is kind of inaccurate. That's like, that's like working... That's like that's like working one day at McDonald's and then quitting, and then you wait 25 years and then you uh, you get rehired at a different McDonald's and you're like, yeah, I've been with the company for 25. It's like, no, you haven't. <laughs> you worked here two days over the 25 year period. That's not how that works. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but it's not. You haven't been working here for 20. You've worked twice in 25 years. So technically, Zero Hero supported like two months out of six, which is cool. I appreciate that. Chase D, thank you very much for subscribing. And Patrick Toomey, thank you very much for topping off those diesel tanks, man. we got a lot of need for fuel, so I appreciate that. And buying everyone in chat some grilled cheese. Thank you very much. BC Gamer says, I make great videos. Oh, is that is that true? Is that confirmed? I don't know. We'll have to take a vote on that. I don't know about that one. Do they have the AC4400CW in this? I believe they do. Somebody who knows... Um, Somebody who knows the game a little bit better than me might be able to say. Cody Johnson, thank you for subscribing. Have I watched the new Jurassic World? No. It's a documentary on my family, though. I already know what happens. Well, that is true, Spartan. If, if you drop a super chat, we will add bacon to your grilled cheese order. Actually, what do you, what do you guys think is better? Is bacon on grilled cheese better than uh, ham? Also, let me ask this. Benjamin Fair, you don't get to respond, but Papa Pom does. Does all right. Listen, the the boy loves cheese on pizza. Now, if you think about it, grilled cheese is pretty much the same thing. You got like fried dough with cheese on it, but you don't have the tomato sauce. Will he accept? Will he accept like ham or bacon on like a grilled cheese sandwich or no? Because I just want to know, like, if I can still be friends with him or not. Because that that right there would be a deal breaker. You know what I mean? I could just be like, hey, good luck to you, but I can't <laughs> can't be friends with somebody who uh, can't put a little, a little ham on the grilled cheese, you know. Also, another question. Do you guys cut sandwiches? Everybody in chat, do you cut a sandwich diagonally or do you cut it, like, directly down the middle? What, what is the correct? Is there a correct way? I like the diagonal cut on a grilled cheese. I don't know. Pineapple on grilled cheese, JK. You want that maple flavored bacon? Wow, Spartan. All right. Actually, that does kind of sound good. That sounds like a breakfast grilled cheese. Boy, imagine this. I quit my YouTube career to uh, start a grilled cheese restaurant. Diagonal? Okay. Directly down the middle. Ham on the grilled cheese is best diagonal all the way. All right, so people seem to agree with the diagonal. I think they do that at most restaurants. I think most, most restaurants do cut it down the side. Actually, when you have a uh, turkey club, oh yeah, club, yeah, like a turkey club, they cut that down the, the diagonal, don't they? 
Diagonal just seems better. I don't know why. Is there is there any superiority to it? Is there a reason? It it just looks better. Maybe it's just because it makes it look like a bigger. Uh, it's it's probably something to do with looks. Probably make people think they're getting more than they actually are. Canadian bacon, yeah. Actually, ooh, Canadian bacon on ham and cheese would be great. Or I mean, on a like a grilled cheese with that type of ham. The palms don't cut their sandwiches. What the? What kind of household are you running? What about the what about the the waffles? How do you cut a waffle? Oh, add a sponsor goal on the stream. Well, I guess it's 100. I, I think we're at like 96 right now. So if four more people want to click or tap that sponsor button, we get a new emote. I think it's going to have to be like something grilled cheese. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, will I play on turn two or four X when it? I probably not. I don't know. I have to. I have to play what you guys respond most to, and I don't. Most things are one and done, just because it's like I play it. Uh, if it gets 3,000 views or something, that's usually what I expect, and I move on to the next thing. That's about our general interest in the audience. I don't know. YouTube's a strange place. I was looking, I was doing some research recently at all of the other YouTubers, um, other YouTubers' uh, channels and such, and people had some great years in 2015, 2016, and then somewhere around early 2017, everyone just plummets. Channels that are big now had all their growth long ago, and it, it just seems like the gig is up, and everyone's just growing really slowly. Hello, oh, thanks for subscribing. Could be that all the kids are interested in Fortnite now, so all other channels are, like, frozen. I, I have no idea. Uh, is Iron Harvest enjoyable, says Pom. Yeah, it it's Company Heroes um, meets robots and such. It is nowhere near finished, and I need to see a lot more of it in order to be completely satisfied. It is kind of weird... And I want to play against a person to see the balancing issue, you know, like how that's going to work. And it seems very simple. Um, there's not a lot of variety of units, but that again, I'm, you're only allowed to play one faction so far, so it'll it'll. There's a lot. There's a lot to understand. There's a lot more to, to have to come along to really make a determination on that one. Do I like tea and biscuits? Um, so being an American, I don't really necessarily eat tea nor have biscuits, but I mean, I'd be down. I guess if some if somebody has me a thing of tea and tells me to eat something, I'll probably do it. Like in Germany, for example, when you go to somebody's grandparents' house and they offer you a beer and say, "Oh, no, no, thank you," that means you at least have to drink one beer. If you drink one beer, that means you have to have two, and so on and so forth. Do I have World War II? Um, no, I have not yet purchased the rights to uh, the Second World War. Uh, we are working on that. So far, I've secured the. Uh, Spanish-American War, uh, that is under my uh, propriety, and also I'm working on the uh, the war between the Dutch and the Spanish, um, but none I can do on there. Where's Daniel Von Vatu? Daniel has been like up in some crazy parts of Sweden, like they look beautiful. It looks like a place where like, uh, oh man, where, where like they would film a nature film. Like it doesn't even seem like Earth. I don't know where he was, but if I went to that type of place, I'd probably never want to leave. It looked like he was in Scotland, except if you cut Scotland off of the UK and just move it to Sweden or Norway, that's what it looked like. So he's, he was in some beautiful places of the world with his family. Does anyone put grape jelly on bacon? When I was with uh, our friend Elmox in Europe, he put jelly on cheese. On it, like a cheese sandwich. I don't know if that's a European thing or if he was just like <laughs> trying to make the best of both worlds. Maybe the Dutch just love uh, cheese that much. I don't know. I believe Dutch people aren't able to survive without a uh, continuous supply of uh, Gouda coming their way. Onion cheese? Oh, no, no. Oh, a sandwich press to start the restaurant. Yeah. I've only been to one of those with like Man, it seems girlfriends always want to go out for... Oh, we, ha we, sh we should have paninis. Let's go out for paninis. Translation, let's pay more for a standard sandwich. Come on, let's pay more money. It's like, okay. <laughs> it's really not that fancy, but it is nice. 
All right, we are now 10 minutes away from our destination. We're going to have to go through a lot of twists and turns to get there, but it's not going to be too much further. And we will be seeing our tunnel very soon. Am I going to play Battlefield 5? Uh, probably not. I'll probably watch someone else play the campaign, and that'll be that. I just have kind of lost my interest in competitive multiplayer shooters. I don't know why. Or maybe I've just played them so much to where it's like, I'm good. Any tips for someone who wants to start streaming? Yeah. Um, start small. Don't expect, you know, a big audience or anything like that. Don't, don't get your hopes up and get disappointed and stop. Um, you know, be thankful for every person that tunes in. Uh, whether one or 100 people are watching, try to have the same energy and just don't worry. Everybody worries about the numbers, even me, as if, like, we're all doing something wrong. But, um, it's fine. I don't know what the rules are for tunnels, but... So I would just say, and, and another thing too is that I've noticed that uh, channels seem to do better if they if they just do one thing, which is weird, uh, because I'd hate to be the guy known for one thing and then that would be it. I mean, imagine doing a bunch of racing games all the time, and then you get interested in flight simulators and then nobody watches. That's just kind of weird. So variety is good. Try to be a variety streamer, but realize that that's going to cut your market to where. Uh, people are only going to support things that they want to see. Um, unless you're a personality, they just want to see you play the game. They care more about the game than the presenter. Until you become that personality where they care about the presenter. For example, PewDiePie, Markiplier, all those guys, Jacksepticeye. Uh, those guys could review the ingredients on the back of a mayonnaise jar and people will watch it because they want to know their opinion. Because they've earned people's respect. As where I just kind of do it about the games. PewDiePie ain't going to be playing no train sim, that's for sure. But there you go. Uh, Bulgarian salad with Greek yogurt. What? What is that? I have no idea what that, what that is. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, what type of diesel turn turner are you driving? Uh, oh, you mean locomotive. Uh, f I, I don't even know. I don't know the technical classifications of these. Wow, look at that beautiful river. Look at that. Uh, honk two times while approaching tunnels in the middle. That's CSX policy. Dad works for them, and that's what he tells me when he drives. Oh, nice. Thank you. Do I like fishing? Yeah, we could probably do fishing from here. Like, we could probably just throw out the... Uh, throw out the uh, line right here and get something. You watch for personality? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think my personality is a little bit more, uh, if I was to be true and honest, it, it would be, there would be a lot more uh, PG-13 and R-rated jokes, but since I turned to a little bit more, uh, you know, str um, simulation games and such, and since YouTube clamped down on, you know, swears and stuff, they, they will scan everything that we say. Everything that I'm speaking to you right now will be in the closed captions down below and YouTube will scan that. So if I'm saying like hurtful and mean things over and over or certain words that will trigger their system, that's how they demonetize and control what goes on on the channel. So um, we're more uh, not censored but curated in a way where we have to act a certain way if we want the algorithm to promote us. Otherwise it's a way to kill channels. Now some people can get past it no problem. They can just be, you know, meme -y and and whatever, and people will always look out for their content. But these are people with millions of subs who've already established that. That's why I said, like, 2016 and 17 were incredible years for growth, and everybody that I've looked at is just uh, plateauing or plummeting because of that algorithm change. Though, it's not that bad. Yeah, family and family-friendly is good, too. I mean, I, it really makes me proud. Someone last night told me uh, that they watch with the entire family and their kids, which is pretty cool. Like, for, for an entire family... Uh, to put me on the TV or the computer and say, hey, kids, the dinosaur man streaming. <laughs> that's pretty cool, man. That's really cool. That's like a, that's a very proud moment. But uh, it's a long way to go, and just like with this train. Uh, what streaming software do I use? A lot of people use OBS, which is known as Open Broadcast Software. And essentially, it's free. And I would highly recommend uh, getting Streamlabs OBS. Now, what that is, is if you go to the Streamlabs website... 
they have a lot of cool overlays and things. Like whenever somebody drops a super chat or if somebody subscribes or sponsors here, it goes through that system and pops up those things on the screen. And, you know, that's what people... It's nice. If somebody donates $5, like, they should get recognition for that. So it's a nice way to, like, give somebody something back for being a supporter better than just saying, hey, thanks for the 5 bucks." Something actually happens on the screen. So um, that allows you to pick different types of overlays. For example, if you're playing PUBG or Fortnite, they'll be more, more specific to that game, that type of thing. I'm not going to go faster. Our speed limit here is 25. With this being a simulator game, we're just going to coast on the rails at the indicated speed. Otherwise, we might uh, cause an accident or something. Right now, we're, we're at the perfect speed. We're going 24 out of a 25. Oh, look at those beautiful homes. It's almost like Norway. They have homes like that all the time, just propped up on a mountain. Yeah, as for Forza and Motorsports and all that, uh, Shrike would probably be the one to play those types of games. I don't really have any interest in those. Not because they're bad, but um, that's probably the type of game... You know, I used to sink millions of hours... How about you guys? Anybody like Gran Turismo? Back in like the 2000, or rather like PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3? Mm, that was like the golden era of just Gran Turismo. Just, I absolutely love that. There needs to be more games like that where you can just be like, hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, I just want to race cars and make money and then spend more money on cars. Like that's everybody's dream. Although I wish those games were a little bit more like Spin Tires Mud Runner too. I wish there was a... A realistic, like, rock climbing mode. That would be awesome. Yeah, this is a pretty good game. I mean, it's exactly what you'd expect. ATS and flight sims are the same thing. You know, proceed to a certain al altitude or speed, and then you just kind of keep her on the tracks. What's up, Adam Confer? Good to see you here. Can I whistle? Uh, yeah, I guess. Gran Turismo was four. Or, sorry, Gran Turismo four uh, was best. I liked 3. That was my favorite. 4 uh, came out like out of nowhere for me. I was like, whoa, what is this? 4 is already out? And then there was another one. Wasn't there like... Uh, there was something that came out after 4, and, and then I kind of stopped like worrying about those types of games because I got into other things. Your, your dream is to have a big dairy farm? Old McDonald had a farm. Let's take a look at our cargo. So right now, I think we're hauling a lot of consumer goods. And uh, I think it's like TVs, PlayStation 4s, consumer electronics, essentially. TVs, computers, laptops, um, maybe iPhones and charging cables, Androids, GPS units. I really want to be able to haul cars, but you wouldn't be able to see, I guess, what was in there on those. Gran Turismo 5? Jeez, I, I think I remember playing 5 with a friend from Sweden who was visiting, like, one time, and then that's it. I think that's the only time I ever played that. Does the train have a horn? Yes. But we can't... Uh, Can't blow it without crossing a uh, thing. I'm trying to be more realistic, you know. Fire Nation, you're going to be here for the uh, C City Skyline stream? Excellent. Well, I'll be here on the Discord after the stream, so make sure you hop on. Check down below in the description to join that Discord. i got to stand up for a second, otherwise that... I don't know why it does that with the sound. Look at that beautiful river crossing. Oh, the game is too perfect. Too beautiful. How fast can this train go? Uh, maybe like 65. Well, I I don't know. I guess what we could do is do a, I think there's a, there's like a free mode where you can haul whatever you want. The game starts out with a bunch of cargo just laid out and you can do whatever you want. I think this probably can go probably somewhere between 65, 75. Is there a ro road crossing close? I don't know. I, I wish they would indicate that on the map wherever crossings were. I'm actually going to have to really see... Uh, I would love to see this route in real life. After this, I'm going to look up a video and just kind of watch and see how similar it is to it. But I'm pretty sure 
to make these games, all of these development crews that, like, they go there, they probably ask, like, CSX, hey, can we hop on your train and record, you know? And they just set up a camera somewhere and just record the whole route and then just simulate it on their computers, you know? Dude, this game is so relaxing. Like, there's there's nothing to it. It's just a... You're just... It's a touring simulator. It's like ATS and uh, Flight Sim combined, in my opinion. That's a nice rock formation there. The only thing I think I should get for this and should buy in general, uh, which I didn't buy on the Amazon Prime sale, but I was thinking of for Amazon Prime Day was the... Uh, I wanted to buy the uh, Track IR, so that way you just... You know, you, you tilt your head and do it automatically, but I didn't... At the time, I really wasn't interested in playing ATS for a while, but now I'm starting to feel like it again because there's trailers and stuff coming out for Euro Truck. Where does this take place? This is specifically in the United States, and I don't know what line. It keeps saying sand, like sand patch, wherever that is. I think this is a realistic line. All right, we've got seven miles to our destination. Uh, we're, we're past some of the big turns now, so it's pretty much going to be straight, and then a little bit of a curve again, and then swing right up around, so it's not too bad anymore. Really surprised we're only doing 25 here. I thought they'd let us open it up for at least 30, 35 here. Oh well. Am I doing more train drives after this? I think so. Not not today, but in the future for sure. Now we can just... We'll just throw a throttle on one. There we go. Yeah, I think it's possible to derail for sure. But does anyone know what state this is? What what state we would be in for Sand Patch Summit? I wish they would tell you. All the other ones are pretty straightforward. They tell you GWR, like the Great Western Railway for Great Britain, like west of London, essentially. And then Northeast Corridor, which is New York, between like Penn Station and uh, Newark Airport. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, and then there's the German trains, which is the S-Bahn line, which is, like, around Leipzig. This is Pennsylvania. This does look like Pennsylvania. I also wouldn't be surprised if it was Virginia somewhere. Well, let's pick up the pace again. Also, it doesn't seem like there's any trains in front of us. I wish we could really open it up. CSX is East Coast? Okay. So it's probably Pennsylvania somewhere. Nor Northwest? I think you mean Northeast, Kevin. Northwest would be like uh, Oregon and Washington. I'd love to dr drive a train through there. All that beautiful territory, those thick woods and mountains and everything. Mm. Certainly not Nevada, that's for sure. That is for sure. All right, 6.2 miles to our destination. Oh, they CSX goes through Texas too. Hmm. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I would imagine that most of these train uh, networks are pretty substantial, or at least make uh, their way across most of the U.S. Probably not every every uh, state, but probably most. All right, 5.9 miles could be Virginia. I don't know if it actually states anywhere. I don't think there's any way we can know inside the train. Just says route map, doesn't say exactly where. No boundaries of the state or anything. Yeah, I don't know. Regardless, it's uh, enjoyable and relaxing, and I like it. I was thinking about maybe making another channel just for simulators. But uh, I like doing everything on one channel. Ask the other guy. Bob doesn't know. Bob just chills, dude. Bob gets paid to watch me work, and that is a good job for Bob. Also, Bob is, uh, I think in the Netherlands, the Dutch have a uh, saying that says, if you're going to, uh, if you're going to go drinking and need a ride home, just ask Bob, which I think is a, it's an acronym or it's some sort of a national slogan uh, to like ask for a ride. You know, don't don't drive home drunk. Uh, use mass transit or call 
call a number or call a friend or something like that. Basically, just don't don't go on the road and get home. Kept seeing a lot of those signs. Actually, you can see them in uh, if you play pro mods. They put in a lot of those uh, those signs. Very realistic that pro mods. It's not Pennsylvania. I don't know. I don't know why it's so difficult for us to like determine it too. It should say like, you know, uh, if it says CSX Heavy Haul. I mean, essentially in this, you're you're on the same line the whole time for most of these uh, missions. So it's not like you're too far away from anywhere. I don't know. Bob is the best. Yeah, you guys seem to love Bob. Maybe we get Bob as an emote. Just looking out the window as the emote. He's having as much fun as I am. Like, we're just... God, these, these guys get paid to just chill on a train, look at the beautiful landscape, and just kind of, like, you know, keep make sure everything's safe. Japanese bullet train. What kind of DLC would you guys like to see? Because I would love to see, a uh, like, a, a, a Texas DLC with steam trains. I'd love to see a uh, Japanese bullet train line. I'd love to see a bullet train just go along, like, 500 kilometers and just, like... 300 kilometers an hour. Uh, I'd love to see Canada. I'd love to see some more beautiful landscapes like this. Uh, I'd love to see... Hmm. I'd like to see... Uh, see, they're bringing more Germany, UK, France. I'd love to see French um, bullet trains. And I'd also like to see Dutch trains, too. Monorail. That'd be interesting. World War II ammo train. Oh, wow. Well, I think they'll keep it mostly modern stuff. Sand patch grade is a poss uh, approximately 100 miles long section of railroad track known for its steep grades and curves through the Allegheny Mountains of Pennsylvania and Maryland. Okay, so there you go. Space DLC? I don't think we have any space trains. But that don't don't worry about that. Elon Musk is working on that one. That guy's so cool, man. You gotta you gotta you gotta like a guy who's like out launching rockets into space, selling electric cars, selling flamethrowers. The dude is cool. Like that's just, that's just cool, man. Yeah, space train would be pretty sweet. Space train is Eve Online. Now that's space ATS. Or wait, no, I'm thinking of uh, Eve Online. But the other thing is Elite Dangerous Palm is what I'm thinking of. It's basically uh, space trucking. World War Two DLC, yeah. Yeah, it's just good Elon Musk is, like, doing cool stuff like that. Like, that used to be NASA's job, but now they're just kind of, like, busy with the space station. And it's like, all right, well, let's... I just wish there was a planet that we could, uh, you know, bring minerals back from. That would be awesome. Uh, SD-42, I, I don't... I actually don't know what this train is. How do, how do I tell? Is there, like, a designation in here? There's the... That, that right there says SD-40-2, so that could be it. But also, some other people were mentioning... Like some really long names, like the ACCW4400 something or other. Yeah, I'd like to see other train. Uh, I, I think the only reason they uh, have CSX in here is because they, they paid them. I never understand that, by the way. Like, I always wish, like, for example, John Deere or, um, you know, like Nissan. Uh, you know, Ford, Chevrolet, all, all that stuff, like in, in games where they're going to use their license. To me, I feel like I'm going to buy the game regardless. All of that's just free advertisement for them. Like, I could totally understand people wanting to buy a game more because there's Kenworth and Peterbilt in it. But having virtual Kenworths and dealer, uh, you know, uh, Peterbilt dealerships in there just makes me want to buy those cars. It's like 50 50. Like, it makes me want to buy the game, but it's free advertising for the company. I mean, if you think about it, it's just a logo. Even in, like, Grand Theft Auto, a lot of the trains and stuff, all of that stuff in those games are, are custom-made, but they look like the real thing. All right, we're getting close to our destination now. Uh, very close, in fact. Once we swing around here, uh, we're probably just going to chug away at about 20 miles an hour, 25 miles an hour until we get there. But once we do, we're going to slow her on down. There you go. Uh, the Fullerton Rail Fan Group. I guess I will help out. Thanks very much for putting some diesel tank in the fuel tanks. Or diesel fuel in the fuel tanks. There we go. That's how that works. Thank you very much. Very cool. I wonder why it says anonymous sometimes. 
Hmm. What I'm thinking is if the name is long enough, it will uh, just say anonymous, which is weird. I think maybe uh, s um, Streamlabs can't handle that. Oh, I'll look into that because I've every every other donation is like, uh, you know, it'll say like Bob has donated twenty bucks. And it's like thanks, Bob, and then the next one is just like Steve has donated, except it'll just say anonymous. There's like no, there's no reason behind it. What's my viewing on Space Force? Um, uh, uh, like, I mean, I don't know because we don't have any like territories in space, so I. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know. I guess I've never thought about it. Like, I'm tossing and turning at night, rolling in bed. Space Force, no. It's a bad idea. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I totally like the idea of, like, the International Space Station and doing experiments and having satellites, obviously. I mean, you know, technology wouldn't be where it was without satellites. Being able to, like, stream everything at instantaneous speeds. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think anything amazing happens if you derail a train. It probably just says mission failed and then goes right back to uh, loading from a uh, previous save or a checkpoint. Checkpoint in this game can be really long, though. I think each checkpoint is whenever they radio. Or actually, you could probably just click save like this. Like, for example, if you had to leave or something in the middle, you can just hit escape and save. Do I know the Pierre Marquette 1225? No, I'm assuming that's probably an old steam train. Do I like dinos? Yeah, yeah I suppose. Your, op your uncle operates the CSX? Very nice. Yeah, I might miss crossings. Like it, it, You don't get any point. There's like no point or punishment for doing that. So it's kind of like Plus, you, you get these points. Like, let me let me actually tab out here for a second. Let me move this down here. I should have showed that off earlier. But the points in the upper right corner, 10,350, it's more like... It's like getting 100% on a driver's test, but you don't actually get anything for doing it. You know, like, for for each time that we... So as we go further and further, we're getting XP, but I don't I don't know what you, you do with it. Like, I think you can, you can buy paint jobs or something, but I don't, there's not really a reason to to do that. He gets $16,000 a week to drive a train? Mm, I don't know about that. There's 52 weeks a year times $16,000. So you're telling me 16000 times 52 plus possible overtime and everything else? Unless he's... Well, wait a minute. If he makes 16000 well, wouldn't he just be a... Sal I don't know. There's no... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Even even when the economy is strong, a company makes money by not paying its workers more than they have to. If a company went from making $1 billion to making a trillion dollars, they might give everyone like a $3 raise, but that's it. Because if those profits go down, it is way easier to not pay people much than it is to pay them more and then try to take it away. There will be legality battles up and down. So it is easier to not pay an employee and make it an uphill battle for the employees to make more than it is to pay them what they're worth. Because if you give them that, then they'll request more and more and more. So it's a management tactic to like make it a... Because if the company can afford to pay someone $45,000 and someone's making $40,000 and they ask for $42,000, management will come back and be like, I don't know if we can do that. It's going to be a tough year. It's going to be tough. Because the management's goal is to not pay the employee more. That's truly their goal. They're it's all about profits and business. It sounds evil, but that's the way it works. That's how it has to be done. All right, 3.5 miles away from our destination here. Have you ever been in a go-kart? Yeah, dude. I've raced uh, go-karts in the Netherlands and stuff for a while. And uh, here in the... It's been a long time since I've been in a go-kart race, but it is fun. Yeah, that's the way the world works, kids. Do I like the American police force? Uh, I've never had the problem with police. I've been, like, pulled over one time for a taillight being out that I didn't know, and they were just like, oh, yep, make sure you get that fixed. Have a good day. And that was pretty much it. Like, just to let me know that I was out. I've always sh uh, shaked officers' hands. Uh, I've met, you know, female, male officers. They're all, it's just yes, sir, no, no, sir, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. 
Yes, officer. You treat them with respect, they'll do the same. I have no problem going back to prison, but I mean, you know, I still respect the police. <laughs> do I like justice? Uh, what? I, I guess. Ju you mean Justice League? Have I ever been in jail? Yeah, but I've never been, like, convicted of a crime. And by that, I mean we've toured jails before for, like, school. Like, in, in a criminal justice class, we went and toured, like, a, a local, uh, like, a, uh, like, a county jail that they were remodeling that no one was in. But that's about it. How many graphic cards do I have on my PC, too? If you'd like to know more about that, check down below in the description. There's a link down there that links to uh, a whole Google document of every single thing I'm using. The monitors, the webcam, uh, the keyboard, and even the Elgato Stream Deck available now. Uh, let's see. Money went up. Oh, in the upper right corner, that's not money. That's uh, XP. Boy, could you imagine that, though? If you got paid $10,000 to drive this train, like, 10 miles? Police, oh my god, it's the last living raptor. Can we take photos? You know, the officers have always been... Uh, respectful of me and I think I was in a situation once where somebody had like a medical emergency at uh, somewhere and an uh, officer came out you know with the EMT bag they have like basic training you know they know how to administer like oxygen and stabilize someone until the paramedics arrive and you know as the officer was leaving I just tapped him on the back and said hey you know hey man thanks for coming out that kind of thing you know but you gotta respect him dude you know not it's just, it's a job. It's a job for them. Or at least the ones I know. I know there's a human being on the other side of that badge. Uh, the Pierre Marquette 1225 is known as the Polar Express. Is that the real Polar Express? You threw up on a Ferris wheel yesterday? Oh, no. Wait, a, a Ferris wheel? I think people get more nauseous from motion than they do heights. I think that's more of a, a scare thing. Am I in the military? No. $530 a day for operating for BNSF. Wow. Wait, is that what it comes out to if it's $16,000 a week times whatever? Oh, yeah, we got to stop pretty soon, don't we? Where's our destination here? Oh, three miles. Sorry, I got so distracted. Uh, I have go-kart racing. Is Hammerhead is off-road? Oh, I've never thought about that. Off-road off go-kart racing? Isn't that more like buggies, though? Isn't that more like buggy racing at that point? Because you have to have a pretty big engine then and bigger tires. Like everything almost multiplies by two. Oh, you were on a faster ride before that. Well, there you go. Rip because reasons? Oh. Is that meat still in the sink? Uh... Oh, you took out something? Because I was going to say, I certainly didn't. I actually have to go grocery shopping, but I'll probably do it tomorrow. Which means I will probably either get a pizza or we'll have to think of something weird to eat. Meaning, oh yeah, actually, I, I have like macaroni and cheese. Oh yeah, I can do that. Yeah, Patty Mayo is a bounty hunter. Yep, I've seen that before. Uh, there's no such thing as just dirt regular engines on dirt track. Mm. I don't know. It seems like it'd take a lot of power to get one of those going. Because you, you probably have jumps in those, right? Because I've seen uh, asphalt go-kart tracks and then there's been like buggy races before. I don't know. Can I do a cooking vid? I have before, but... Um... I don't know. Actually, that reminds me. I should buy a pot roast this week and make one of those. Favorite game I've ever played? Um, I don't know. There's there's some really big games that are sentimental uh, that hit me right in the feels. A lot of those are like with stories. Oh, we, dr we drove 100 miles. Yay. Oh, we are in the SD42. There you go. Um, I think one of the most impactful games story-wise for me was uh, World in Conflict. Definitely a, Definitely a great game. Looks like we might have to be coming to a stop here soon. The light is yellow. Uh, am I in a, any type of racing like Formula One or NASCAR? Not, not really. I, uh, I wouldn't want to compete against. I, I don't know. There's, there. I like not competing against people in a race, but I like, for example, if we were doing spin tires, mud runner, and it was like four people climbing a mountain. We've done that before with Palm and. 
Uthris and Colt and whomever else, where it's like, hey, we're here, we have to get there, and we have to climb this gargantuan mountain. Let's do it. And then, you know, three, four people work together on doing that. Uh, your PC is futuristic, decked out like mad, yeah. Uh, it's future-proofing, so I don't have to get a new one for a long time. Uh, got the name Raptor? Uh, it's, it's just a cool name to pick. There's nothing really cool around it. It's just a cool dinosaur, right? Like me. Show the train? Sure. Oh, looks like we could actually go up to 30 miles an hour now. It's actually a uh, pretty long train. 52 cars. Consumer goods and stuff. I think it's hauling copies of Fortnite. Uh, can you install mods or add-ons to this game? You know what, Ugo? I think you can. I've seen a few... Uh, I've seen them as, like, train... You know, like, uh, skins or something like that. I'm not entirely sure how many... Like, I don't know how detailed it gets. I don't know if you can install maps or scenarios, but there's definitely some basic mods to it. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go 30 because we're basically approaching a uh, the stopping point, so I'm not going to go much faster than that. I'll bring it up to 20, but that's about it. And another tunnel. All right, chat. Now, you were telling me we honk twice, and then we go into the tunnel, right? What's my FPS? Uh, probably 60. I, th I think it's set to 60. Yeah, that's what this uh, OBS encoder said to. Now check this out as we're into the... Look at the lights on the train. Pretty cool, huh? Let's get ahead of this a little bit. This is a pretty long uh, tunnel from what I understand. Uh, why do they have multiple locomotives in front and back of the train? Because uh, these are very, very long... Uh, very long uh, trains and they need a little bit of extra power. It's gonna be a long train coming out of here. Whew, boy oh boy. Alright, so we got about 1.4 miles to our stop. So we'll probably start kicking it down here at about a mile. F3 just does FPS. Oh, there you go. Upper right corner. Yep, looks like it's uh, 60 frames a second there. Favorite FPS game? Oh, I don't know. Uh, probably this. I really like first-person shipping games. Well, there you go. DPU distributed power units. They're the middle rear locomotives. There you go. And it's a big old train. 52 cars. I mean, that's, you know, nothing small. I'm sure there's bigger trains, but this one's big old. All right, there's the end of the tunnel. Finally getting it uh, to stretch our legs a little bit. Isn't it now two or three sponsors needed? You might be right. I'll have to, I'll have to look, but hopefully we, click all, uh, we get enough sponsors here today. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click or tap that subscribe button. Let's get some more people joining our group here today. Let's see some more names popping up here on the screen. And we're almost going to get a new emote that everyone who is a sponsor or a member can do and use. So go ahead and uh, click or tap that join button as well if you'd like to join us for American Truck Simulator, Farming Simulator, Euro Truck Simulator. We're going to prioritize people who are members. So make sure you go ahead and do that. All right, we're about a mile away from our destination, so I'm going to go ahead and start scaling her back a little bit. Get ready to stop. It's going to take a while to stop a beast like this, especially from about 26. So let's go ahead and bring her down to 6. There we go. Get that amperage up. We're probably going to hit about, what, 300? Oh, 170. Oh, boy. That's way less than I thought. Mm, any more braking power might be too much. Radio Buyer, thank you very much for subscribing. Yeah, you see other uh, trains in this game all the time. I think two have passed us on this route. I mean, it's not like multiple trucks, but uh, it's good. Do I have any tips for purchasing a PC uh, gaming? Con um, yeah. If you want to go through a company, just write them and say, hey, here's my budget. Uh, here's what I want, or here's the types of games I want to play. Actually, there's a website 
where you can type in, hey, here's the types of games I want to play. What kind of a PC do I need for it? And they'll tell you exactly which one you need. So that way you don't spend... And I would, I would always spend a little bit more on a PC than you kind of want to because you won't have to get a new one for a long time. And that could be a good thing because the last thing you want to do is buy a PC, have it for six months to a year, and then it can already be out of date. So uh, definitely ask around, look for different resources, get second opinions, you know, don't, don't just buy one that someone says, oh, hey, just get this one and you're good. Oh, thank you very much, Fullerton, for the three ninety nine. Appreciate that. Diesel tanks getting topped off more and more. Uh, yes, the Discord does work. I think there's quite a few people in there right now, so you should be able to do it by uh, just clicking down below. Click or tap down below. It's working. I think I'm on there now. All right, we got about a half mile here to our destination. 2.4 miles till we have to come to a complete stop. So I think we're going to radio for clearance. What's my favorite meme? Uh, my community. That's a pretty good one. All right, let's take a look at where we're stopping. So we're going to swing around here, stop there. Oh, here comes another train. Nice. And then we're probably going to use... I think we're going to stop up there again. Okay, time to slow her down. going downhill now so we don't have to fight too much. Get ready to come to a stop. All right, four hundred yards. Start hitting that brake. Service up four, probably for dynamic. There we go. Will I ever, am I ever going to get an HTC Vive and do videos on it? Uh, I'm not really a simulator guy, or I mean a VR guy. There's a lot of great games, but mm, I don't know. Try not to laugh challenge, maybe. Now, there's so many varieties of videos. You know what will be interesting is that I'm probably not going to do what I do on here all the time. I'm probably going to get famous for doing cooking videos or something in five years. And then everyone will be like, remember you, remember when you used to drive trains? <laughs> People are joining the Discord? Well, cool. At the end of the stream, that's where I'm going to be. So if you want to join the Discord, check down below in the description. Join and head in there and start chatting. definitely got the hang of this. Head back, unhook the rear locomotives, and park them up on the sidetrack. A CSX pickup should be there to meet you. We'll see you later. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's all I had to do? Uncouple and that's it? I thought we were going to proceed. All right. He doesn't want me to go all the way back there and uncouple, does he? 
Oh, he does. Yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you click or tap that uh, subscribe button. That way your name should pop up here. Boy, we got to go a long way. We left Bob to his own devices. I think he's having lunch now. Yeah, I'm running now. Yeah, this is on PS4 and on Xbox and PC. New subscriber shout out. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, we need it. I should grab another train going the opposite direction and grab onto the back. Oh, well. Uh, I wonder why we're stopping here in the middle of the line, though. Oh, I wonder if we have to go back the other direction. Yeah, we'll see. We were going pretty fast most of the way. People are probably like, that's not that fast, but <laughs> you don't have to go very fast. Yes, there'll be more Command & Conquer. If you want to see the game schedules and what I'm planning on playing and when I'm playing it, uh, go ahead and check this link here. That link right there is my schedule to all the videos that are planned on the channel. After this scenario, can we do another one? Maybe another day, yeah. I have some other stuff I have to do here today, but we're going to finish this scenario. I don't know if there's more to do after this. First, we have to uncouple, so we got to run another 400 yards. Boy, look at all these CSX cars, huh? Now, obviously, th they're only CSX cars uh, because, you know, they have the licensing. But you'd probably see other things here, like... Actually, maybe there's uh, maybe there's uh, mods that make this different types of cargo. Like, for example, you'd see Maersk or China shipping or whatever. Because CSX is probably only going to own the cars and the uh, locomotive. They're probably not going to own the, uh, the actual... No, nah, they're probably not going to own the, con uh, the containers. CSX probably has their own containers for specific reasons, you know, maybe to ship parts or whatnot, but definitely not for, uh, not to ship every single company's stuff. What do these say on the side anyway? Let's take a look. How tomorrow moves. CSX International. Warning. High cube. Huh. Must be why they have these extra braces. You never see these braces here. Or at least I never see those. Wait, what is that noise? Is there a train coming? Oh. Something like that one, like, was speeding up. Okay, let's do a uh, couple here. Sit in the engineer's seat to lead. Okay. What the... Oh, she's a rumbling. <laughs> What's going on in here? Oh, I guess... The, oh, never mind. We're going that way. What is going on with this train? Wow, it's got that massage function on. <laughs> Must be a new Fortnite dance. Wow. All right, let's see. What the heck was that all about? Yeah, that's one really excited train. Ah, oh boy. Uh, set reverse to reverse. Yep. Disengage. Uh, stop at location. Sand patch crossover. All right, so we're just going to back away a little bit, I guess. Bye, train. Should do more live streams. It's pretty good. Well, that's good. 
Yeah, I'll be on the Discord after this, so join now. Is it done shaking? Looks like it's chilled out a little bit. Now we probably don't need to go much faster than this. We're only going a little bit of distance here, about a half mile. Do 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 do. Do 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 Eh, still a little bit more. Are there lots of glitches in this game? That's like the only one I've seen where... I mean, I wouldn't even know if that was a glitch. I mean, it kind of was just like... Really? We need more power? Okay. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even classify that as a glitch. It's just kind of a weird graphical thing. I guess a glitch would be like if we, if we went across a train bridge and the train like went under the bridge instead of over the bridge. I mean, I guess technically that was a glitch, but it didn't, like, break the game or anything. train was having a rage, a uh, rave, yeah, kind of. It was partying, bro. It was a party train. Where exactly are we going? We must be stopping at the previous signal then, right? Oh, it just passed. Are we going to be permitted to cross that line? 1.7 at 400. Hmm. Let's get ready to stop. I forget this thing stops a lot faster than the regular one. Hmm, she comes to a full stop. Good to know. These trains are really weird to operate when there's no cargo. It's like what it what it is in ATS when you haul a tr uh, when you're driving a truck with no cargo, it just it's it's like a hot rod all of a sudden and it throws you off. It's the same here. Okay. Uh, why is your phone ahead of your tablet? Uh, I would say refresh both devices. The stream can get a little off depending on which one you're using. Actually, we should be able to coast in right like this. Oh, this is going to be perfect right here. All we got to do is stop one of the locomotives on the marker and we're good. Okay, let's go ahead and hit the brake. And bingo. Stop at sand patch sidetrack. So, have they done that automatically? Oh, these must be auto switch. Okay. So we're just pulling over, basically. All right. Let's go. Who would win, a train or Superman? Probably the train. Superman doesn't exist. <laughs> a train does. No, but for reals, uh... Probably Superman, I mean, if that was a real world of it. So, Boothris, good to see you here. Hope you're well. It's been a while since we've uh, chatted. Hope things are good on your end. Hope to catch up with you soon. So, uh, everyone, I'm going to be in the Discord at the end of our stream here, so make sure you check out the links to the Discord down below, and I'll be in about five minutes after the stream ends. And it ends whenever we, whenever we finish our goal. Looks like we got a little bit of a downgrade here. Let's put her in setup. Mm, we're gonna need a little 
little bit more amperage than that. There we go. Oh, you're enjoying postscriptum. Very good. Ooh. We gotta slow down to 15. Actually, we gotta stop soon, so let's just throw her into service braking and then we'll be fine. Give me the roll, give me the roll. There we go. Uh, you're talking to me? Okay. Well, hello. At this rate, we could just hit full service right here, and we're good. Well, let's go past our, past the marker a little bit. There we go. Full service and stop. Perfect. All right, reverse her to neutral. I'm assuming. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to flip. Wait, what is that? Emergency off. Press the fuel cutoff to shut the engine down. Is that how you stand? Is that standard shutdown too? Whoa, what? I guess we do that then. Must be emergency or just regular shutdown. That doesn't seem like it'd be standard shutdown, though. Anyway, let's get out of here. But before we do... Okay. Alright, what is this thing? Oh, is this like uh, gravel storage for different types of rock types along the... Uh, Ah, uh, this must be for like a little bobcat or a skid steer to come in and pick up rocks. A little regular maintenance. That's cool that they put that in there. When are you streaming City uh, Skylines again? That'll be tonight probably in about mm, two or three hours from now. Okay, let's get out of here. Yay! All right, mission complete. Very good. Uh, we got, uh, let's see, oh, wow, it tells us we walked 1.8 miles. We drove 37.85 miles, and it took us an hour and 51 minutes to complete that. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. You're a true fan? Well, that's good. I appreciate your support. All right, if you're a true fan, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button to let me know you'd like to see more. Make sure you're vo very vocal about seeing more of this content, uh, and make sure that you uh, click or tap that subscribe button. Make sure you change the notification bell. Man, as a YouTuber, we got to tell everyone so many things just so they can see their videos. It's ridiculous. All right, make sure that you change the notification bell to all. Make sure you click the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Welcome to our new sponsors. Thank you, everyone, for your super chats. I will be back in about uh, two or three hours with City Skylines. You'll see the schedule pop up on the on the screen there. Make sure you check back the channel in two or three hours. Hop on the Discord. The links are down below in the description to the Discord. I'll be there in about five or ten minutes, so hop in there and say hello. We also hang out on a TeamSpeak. That's where we primarily do our recordings because the audio quality is just a little better, and some people prefer it. So we use both. We've been around since, like, 2013, so there's been some people who deeply prefer TeamSpeak before Discord was even around. Discord didn't come out until, like, a year and a half ago, so there's just people who like it more. I love you guys' support, so thank you as always for showing your support and being so aggressive and supporting it. You guys are fantastic. I will see you in a couple hours. Thank you everyone for being here. I'll see you soon. Bye.
mind is a mess My heart is pounding fast Oh, I wish that you could stay Promise me that you will come back someday. So let's make the most of it. I remember what you said. Up in the ferris wheel, we're kissing in the shade. 